Greece has been negotiating to the bitter end in a day of drama and some desperation. Tonight, everyone in this square is here to urge a yes vote on Sunday, to stay in the Euro. For some, that's no doubt driven by belief in the ideals of European unity. But for many, it's about a fear of the alternative. Hello, good evening. Greece is half an hour away now from missing that payment to the IMF in Washington. 6 p.m. in Washington is the deadline, midnight in Brussels, for 1.6 billion euros to be handed over. Greece is closer than it's ever been to exiting the euro, and today I've been looking at what would happen if that did happen. <laughs> Hours from the default deadline, crowds gather in Athens. These are the people who want to deal. Despite the weather, a big demonstration, many of whom are new to street politics. Over the last few months, it's been easy to get the impression that everyone in Greece is against austerity, even if that means coming out of the euro. But tonight, everyone in this square is here to urge a yes vote on Sunday, to stay in the euro. For some, that's no doubt driven by belief in the ideals of European unity. But for many, it's about a fear of the alternative. Thoughts are turning to what will happen if Greece leaves. At this medical centre, capital controls are already biting. This month there will be no salaries for the staff. Exit from the euro will be a disaster for our country. If we go into drachma, the prices are going to double. And you can imagine how difficult it will be for the hospitals to function. And I believe, therefore, I believe that the standard of care is going to fall and I suspect dramatically. Across town at a pharmacy, Vera Macri shared the concern. I asked her what would happen if Greece left the euro over a weekend. On a Monday probably it will be still the same as today, but on a Tuesday or a Wednesday it will be much different because there won't be any medicines left. The stock will be really low and I, ha I have also the feeling that people may also break in and come and get some uh, <coughs> things from the pharmacy. And the thing is that this government doesn't care about that. They don't care about us. They don't care about the private sector at all. They only care about their public employees. Nothing more. We are very dead frustrated with them. Really, really. We don't exist in there. Or we are only the capital and we have to give, to give all the time. And we, have, you know, we don't have any support from anyone at the moment. Not from the banks, not from the government. We just work on our own. If Greeks aren't preparing to leave the euro now, it's because they don't know how. The best individuals can do is to take out their cash to guard against it being turned into drachma. But that bank run might be speeding up the very thing they fear. Look at the list of countries which have missed an IMF payment. Sudan, Zimbabwe, Somalia. Greece doesn't feel anything like that. But the country is as close as it's ever been to crashing out of the euro. The banks are closed. This has become a cash economy. For the moment, life out here in the suburbs carries on as normal, but very soon, that could be about to change. According to the European lenders and the yes side in Greece, Sunday's vote is about membership of the single currency. But many in the no camp reject that. They think a no wouldn't mean heading for the exit, but a renewed set of talks with a stronger mandate. In their flat in the suburbs of Athens, we met Charis and Menina. They are planning on voting no, but insist that's not a rejection of Europe. We are a European country and that cannot change just because we've said no to a deal that we think it's not good for our country. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Uh, we cannot take our country and move it to another continent. We are Europe. I know you want to stay in the Euro, but if it comes to a false choice between the Euro and austerity, I mean, you could end up leaving, couldn't you? There are no such laws saying how a country will leave the Eurozone. So we are not leaving the Eurozone, and <laughs> that's the end of it. <laughs> For Charis, Sunday's vote can't be separated from the last five years. What has happened in our own lives for the last five years was really hell. We've been through hell. And now, this government asked you of one thing, act for your own lives. 
The time for action is here. One way or the other, the seemingly never-ending Greek crisis is coming to a head. Now, before we go, it is official. The deadline has passed. Greece has missed its payment to the IMF and the bailout has formally expired. What that means for Greece and the rest of the world, of course, we will have to wait perhaps quite some time to find out. That is all we have time for, though. Good night.